From the Cole Center in Madison, I'm Todd Molesky from the State Journal with the wrap-up after Clarkson gets out of here with a 3-0 victory over the Badgers on November 27th. Uh, a Saturday night victory for Clarkson to leave the Cole Center with a win and a tie from this series. And uh, it's another series where the Badgers get only one goal in two games. That's twice now in the last three series that the Badgers have only scored once. And that's... Um, that's not a uh, uh, not going to no way to sugarcoat it here. That's the Badgers' offense right now. They they are even when they're getting chances and getting the pucks past uh, goalies, they're hitting the post. They're going wide. Uh, it's just there are no easy answers for uh, what's happening with the Badgers' offense, um, other than the fact that. Uh, a lot of us saw potential for trouble with the offense given what was lost last season and what was coming back this season. Uh, holes in, in the lineup scoring wise and they're I think going well beyond what a lot of us maybe thought would be happening. I, I couldn't have pictured something like this where um, they're scoring one goal or zero goals in 10 of 16 games that I, I wouldn't have said that I figured there you know there's enough players on this team that are going to score a goal here and there to avoid something like that it just hasn't happened for the Badgers and I think you're you know, at 4 11 and 1 now you're starting to see that this is there are some real questions on whether uh, there's going to be anything coming out of this season for the Badgers in a, in a positive direction they keep saying you know they uh, come in here after games and, and tell me that you know they still believe that there's there's good things that can happen here um, but the more a, a team has difficulty you know just getting positive results uh, the more chance there is uh, for it to, to come apart now Tony Grano said after tonight he acknowledged that you know you know they the, the Badgers can't pull apart they need to keep moving in the, the same direction together and um, Tark Baker, the captain, said he thinks that that's still going to happen. They're a team. They're here for the same reason. Uh, and um, it is definitely something to keep an eye on, though, because um, if it, you know, if there aren't some more wins coming soon, um, it's it's going to get really hard uh, to to pull out of this. Uh, uh, this tailspin that the Badgers are in. Now they 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 have an exhibition game on Thursday against the uh, national team development programs uh, under 18 team, the U.S. under 18 team, uh, and then they close the first half at home against Penn State. And that's uh, you get to that point and you're starting to think, well, um, what are those three weeks going to be like, or two weeks, two and a half weeks, whatever it ends up actually being this season, um, where this team kind of has to sit on what it's done and, and what will it come back with after the break. We're getting a little far do farther down the road than I wanted to go here, but um, it's, you know, it's, it's fair to have some questions about, um, about how this, se this season finishes and, and uh, what happens after that, I think, now. Um, uh, the, the Badgers, you know, again, I, I wouldn't hesitate to say that they – played well enough to win in a lot of areas of the game tonight. Didn't get the goals to go in. Roman Sean hit the post twice, um, both when the Badgers were down one nothing. And so, um, you know, if, if he gets one of those to go, uh, if he gets both those to go, they're in the lead. If he gets one of them to go, they're, they're tied and they're back in a position they were in last night where they've got momentum and they, they get things going in their direction. Um, obviously, it didn't happen. Uh, won't know for sure what what would have happened after that. Um, I thought Cameron Rowe played pretty well. All in all, gave up two goals. Uh, Clarkson got an empty netter to uh, to seal it in the last minute. Um, so Jared Moe played well last night. Cameron Rowe played pretty well tonight. Um, and it, uh, it it's just all coming down to that. Uh, the goal scoring. And we were, I was talking after last weekend's series at Michigan State about the penalty kill and uh, the issues that were going on there. Um, 
you know, the, the Badgers only had to kill, I believe, two penalties this weekend, and they did them both. They got a little bit of help on, on the one tonight. Um, I believe it was uh, Luke Santerno who uh, hit the post and had another good chance uh, go wide. Uh, but um, so they, they found a way to the finish line on, on those. Um, penalty kills this weekend uh, they just couldn't get any scoring to, to make it uh, uh, more of a, uh, a a chance for them to get a win out of out of the two games this weekend um, I should mention about that penalty kill it was a really interesting stretch because uh, Owen Lindmark broke his stick on the face off at the start of that penalty kill and that led to the Badgers being in their end for a minute 45 before uh, Zach Erdahl finally was able to clear the puck. Uh, and so all, all those chances came as a result of, of having basically three and a half players uh, uh, when you take a stick out of Lindmark's hands. Um, and the Badgers still got to the finish there, although it, it was close on a couple of those, like I mentioned, for Clarkson. Um, what are the answers here um, is another fair question. What what can the Badgers do to get out of this tailspin scoring-wise? Um, one, good question. So I, since I asked it myself, I'll you know, pat myself on the back. Good question. But it's the obvious one. I mean, and, and I don't think there's something they can, you know, they, they've tried changing lines around. They've tried... Uh, players in different positions. I mean, we saw Sam Stang at center for a while. We saw um, Caden Brown take a turn at center. We saw uh, Ryder Donovan take a turn at center. Nothing of them, none of them really stuck. Um, they, they've tried, uh, and the power play has been okay in the last couple of weeks. Scored a couple goals. They obviously didn't get any um, this weekend. But I, you know, they're going to keep going at the idea that it's going to turn. I, I heard that a few times tonight. It, they have the belief, at least they're saying it, that things will turn for them. Some of these chances that aren't going in will start going in. Um, now you can believe that or not uh, from the outside. They're, that's what the, the way the Badgers are presenting it right now, at least to me. Um, Hard to know what's really going on inside the locker room or inside a lot of those individuals' heads because this has to be just eating away at them, just not being able to convert on a lot of these chances. Brock Caulfield had another chance uh, open in front of the net tonight, basically a, a carbon copy of one he had Friday night. Um, and Ethan Hader made the, the save on that, one of his 31. He made a, or a, kind of an unorthodox uh, Two pad stack save on uh, Roman Ashan on a power play late in the uh, in the game tonight, and that was just another one of those you know, you know things like that are happening to the Badgers offensively. You know it's it's just not 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 going to go. Um, there was an interesting point in tonight's game. I think it was 58 minutes of penalties came out of a a skirmish in the second period. Um, that required a, a five-minute review to assess penalties. Uh, in the end, uh, there were misconduct handed out. No one was thrown out. Uh, players were sent to the locker room for the end of the second period. Uh, but Dustin McFall and Jordan Power for Clarkson got misconducts. Carson Bantle and Tark Baker for the Badgers also got misconducts. And then there were a host of roughing penalties, double minors and single minors. Um, Badgers ended up getting a penalty or a power play out of that. Uh, ended it early with a too many men uh, call, and uh, the Badgers did hear some boos from the Cole Center crowd uh, during that penalty kill when they had trouble just getting out of their own end of the ice. Um, and that was, you know, a bit, a little bit of the. Um, I think the, the negative engagement you're seeing from the fan base right now. Um, it was another small crowd here at the Kohl Center. I'm going to get into that a little bit in the story, uh, hopefully earlier this week. 
uh, looking at some bigger things. Um, uh, but you can't see the crowd tonight or last night and come away thinking, yeah, this is a pro uh, program that's doing okay. Uh, that, that, that's a concerning sign when there's probably uh, you know, less than 4,000 people in the building both nights. Two nights in a row this light's going to fall off on me. Apologies again for that. Uh, the suction cup on here might need replacing. But like I was saying, the uh, the the size of the crowd is has to be a concern as well as the results. Obviously, they go hand in hand, um, and you have the built-in. Well, it's Thanksgiving weekend. Okay, that's part of it. The results, the team's record is a part of it. Um, there's a lot that goes into it. You know, just you know, you have to concede that there's there's a lot that it's not one easy solution or one easy explanation for it. So, um, <laughs> Rick says Baker, Bantle, and Donovan have a Hanson brothers vibe. They did on that uh, that, that uh, tussle uh, uh, in in the second period. That was a pretty good takedown too on on Baker by the Clarkson player. Um, I don't know if there's been some wrestling in that guy's past, but wow, that was that was interesting to see. And it kind of just uh, it brewed up, and, and man, if all of a sudden here are three guys going at each other from each team. So wow, that w that was definitely something uh, to see, and uh, uh, I think it's uh, um, one of the takeaways from the game for the Badgers. Is man. Uh, uh, that's if that's what you're uh, um, gonna have out there for the fans. I'll, I'll let that sound that came out of my mind came out of my mouth uh, serve as the rest of that sentence. Um, all right, that's gonna wrap it up. Uh, we'll be back here after Thursday night's game uh, exhibition game against the under 18 team to uh, talk about what we learned there. If, if anything, uh, exhibition games at this point are oof, a little a little. Um, dicey for me thinking of how to cover that um, but appreciate you uh, tuning in and uh, make sure you check out the story at madison.com and in Sunday State Journal thanks as always Todd Molesky here from the State Journal uh, once again the Clarkson gets out of here with a 3-0 victory over the Badgers on Saturday night have a good night everyone take care